everybody. So today's Monday. That means it's time for a family movie night. And this week we are continuing my series of Disney Scares Month that I've been doing. This is my fifth year doing Disney Scares Month in October. And it's really fun to get to talk about these spooky, uh, more, uh, you know, scary uh, little films from the, the, the Walt Disney Studios have done over the years. And uh, I think a lot have been sort of surprising. People don't really think of Disney as, as a scary studio, but there are some ones out there that are a lot of fun. Today we're talking about a sequel to one of the films we already talked about, and it is Halloween Town 2, uh, Calabar's Revenge. And this is obviously a sequel to the first Halloween Town, which I really enjoyed. And I've long said that I think that the Halloween Town movie is better than Hocus Pocus, which is maybe shocking. I have my, I have my review for Hocus Pocus as well, which I think is fine, but I definitely think it's way over overpraised and overrated um so it's interesting here with this sequel what i would think i don't know if i'd ever even seen this sequel or if i did it'd been a long 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 time and uh so basically you have uh you have marnie and aggie as granddaughter and grandmother debbie reynolds playing aggie of course and i think that what elevates this whole franchise uh bigger than it would be because of debbie reynolds i mean she's so good both as a grandma, like everybody's dream grandma, uh, but also as this character of this uh, determined uh, matriarch of this family uh, who uh, is not happy with uh, that her daughter is choosing to shut out magic in the first film and trying to be a leader while still you know, respecting her daughter and being frustrated, all those things I think are all there in the performance. And in this one, it's really interesting. So basically they end up going back to Halloween Town after having spent a lot of time, I think it's two years uh, away from Halloween Town. And uh, they go back and everything is black and white and uh, everything has been turned sort of gray and uh, it's lost it's losing its magic it's like it's being sucked dry and i thought that was such a, an effective uh sort of metaphor to use uh to have it be all black and white and there's some really cool imagery and as you see that the the spells are getting stronger and stronger and stronger even starting to affect aggie herself and you have this guy named cal who is the son of calabar from the first movie that's not a big spoiler it's in the actual title calabar's calabar's revenge and uh and so uh, you see uh, when he has control of her spell book and and uh so there's things get worse and worse and there's some tension and what's going to happen and how are they going to save the day and all that's fun stuff is all in there but in it, it i just thought i really liked that whole idea of everything going to black and white and what are they going to do and it created some tension for the story that i thought was very effective uh, i do think that this movie gets too convoluted uh, and it started started to lose my interest after a while there's a lot going on between the different worlds and between cal and between uh the spell book and uh and the things going on with gort this kind of junk magnet person and uh some of the other plot lines i thought that was it was too complicated for what it was trying to be uh but i still overall i think it has a nice message uh about not trying to hide from what makes you special uh in uh in with marnie and choosing to embrace uh your calling in life and what what uh embrace the magic basically inside you i think that's a nice message i think it has a nice message of family and uh, that, that nothing is you know more important than family and of course that's signified by debbie reynolds and being so wonderful and uh, so yeah i think that overall it definitely has some scary imagery it has some dark imagery it has some more somber themes uh and i really liked the whole idea of the black and white i thought it really worked well and uh, so that's kind of my thoughts of halloween town too it's a little bit dry and a little bit too convoluted at times but overall i still think it is a really solid little film and i really like this franchise so let me know what you think of halloween town 2 calabar's revenge is it uh one of your favorites 
or uh, do you do you not like it? I would be curious for your thoughts in the comment section. And please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. We've got Disney Scares Month coming all month long. And I'll put a link to my playlist of all the other movies that I've done for Disney Scares Month. You'll really enjoy those reviews. So thanks so much. Please consider becoming a patron of my channel. I really appreciate those patrons so much as we're going into the holiday season over at Hallmarkies Podcast. Just make sure you're subscribed to Hallmarkies Podcast as well. We have a lot of really great stuff going on over there. Also have our merch store, which has tons of festive designs. So check that out. And thanks so much, everybody. And we will talk to you all later. Bye.